welcome back. It's Curriculum Picks Day. Well, part one. Um, because I thought it might be a little much if I put all of this into one. So, what I'm thinking, we'll do core today. Um, and then we will do our history and science probably separately. Um, and then if I have anything else, I'll just throw it in there. Um, but I have this full of stuff and then I have another pile. So let's jump in. Um, I'm going to just start with what's on top, what I can get to easiest. And that is our All About Reading um, Level 1. And just from flip, flipping through it, I love it so far. I mean, it is, this is the activity book, but it just, every lesson, pretty much, I'm pretty sure every lesson has an activity that goes along. Um, it's got some practice warm-up sheets for when we're going to use the readers. Um, so I'm excited to get into this. We've done the first two lessons because she was really excited to learn to read. And once I realized, um, not, I mean, it, it went well, um, but we just kind of pulled back because we're about to jump into Easter and we're doing a specific Easter curriculum and we're putting everything else aside. So I think after Easter we'll start back. We might just put it aside until kindergarten and start over with lesson one. Um, but I do love it. It comes with that. Of course, the teacher's manual is out in our daily setup. Um, but it, I can do a flip through. If you want to see that, let me know and I'll do a flip through of it because it gives, I mean, say this, say this, do this now, do this now, read this, have the kids say this. I mean, it is laid out. Um, and it came with three readers, three different levels, and they start off, this is volume three, which one's volume one? Volume one. I mean, it starts off, the very first story is just super simple. So, and then it progresses, and so then the last story of the third level looks more like this. So it looks like it's going to progress very well. I'm excited to get into it. We went with the letter tiles instead of the app. Um, a lot of people recommended the app, but if I get an iPad out during school, we're done. There will be no getting it back. So we went with the tiles and it comes with all of those and then it comes with like little sticky magnets and I just put them in this ziplock to keep them together. So that's what we're going to do for reading. Just all about reading. Level one, we're going to go super slow. Um, I'm pretty sure it's mastery based. So like until level one, or that's how we're going to approach it. Until level one is mastered, then we'll move on to level two and keep going. Um, <clears throat> so that's for reading. Oh, and then there's, oh, sorry guys. There's so many ways people prep it that I got overwhelmed. So I just started a big old notebook. And after we do the activity, after I have it prepped, I'm just putting it in a sheet protector and saving it if we need to come back. So that was the first activity. You just have these little words and you match it all up. Okay, so, like I was saying, sorry. Um, it's just, it was a lot to go through and prep every single activity beforehand. So I'm just going to, on Sunday, pull out the activity we need, prep it, and have it in one of these little protectors for when we're ready for it. Um, because I mean, this is a whole lot of lessons and activities to pull out and prep ahead of time. It just, it overwhelmed me. So, I'm just going to do it one or two at a time. And then after we're done with it, stick it in this big binder. And then when my little guy's ready for reading, we will have everything 
right here for him. So that's going to be our reading. Um, just going through our bin. Let's go with writing next because it's right here. Nope, just kidding. Math. Math is next. Um, okay. So math. Uh, for pre-K, we were using the math you see uh, primer or primer they call it and she didn't like it we got 18 weeks in and she just kept telling me I don't like this and I don't know if it was because it's mastery based and it was very repetitive uh, which I mean I guess is great that's the whole purpose but for her I think it was just like okay I've done this a bunch I need to move on or if it was because it's just visually boring, it's just black and white, numbers on a page. So, we decided not to proceed with Matthew C. For now, we may, when they get older, circle back to it because it did seem like a great program and I love the way they teach some things. So, uh, their videos and the uh, instructor's guide was really helpful for me on a couple of things. So we may circle back to it. We'll see. But for kindergarten, we're going with Horizons. So she did, when we got it, she was so excited. Um, and she did the first two lessons already. And she flew through them. So I was like, wait a minute. Let's just... Do something else for the rest of 4K because I didn't want to be half a grade ahead going in. Because when we started this, she would have finished the first half of the curriculum by kindergarten. And I, for me, I just kind of need to stay on task for now or on track. Um, but this, compared to the math you see, is much more fun. And I like that it's just one tear out sheet front and back for a lesson. So each day we'll just tear one out. That'll be our lesson. Um, so I went ahead and got book one and book two. And we're going to do that. Um, it The bundle that I ended up getting had this um, student worksheets in it. But after I got it and I looked all the way through, those same sheets are in the back of the teacher's guide or manual. Um, so if you're purchasing separately, I would not say that you need these unless you just want to have extras. But for me, I could have just ripped these out and made copies, um, but it's fine. So, the, and I think these are just extra practice sheets also but I mean this is a pretty hefty teacher's guide so I'm excited about it and it looks pretty thorough I mean I've never taught math to anyone so I need all the help I can get um, I had these also from when we did Matthew C just as like an extra visual for her um, that when we get into place value I will pop these back out and these are from applesauce and arrows um, on Etsy or her blog can't remember um, I can link it below though and they're just like place value villages and it has the place value street and it had another thing at the bottom that I cut off and I don't even remember what it was um, maybe addition and subtraction blocks I don't even remember because I just wanted her focusing on this but like I said we put all that aside and we went with our uh, math start books, which has been great. And if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll show you the books and how we did it and all that fun stuff because they have been so fun. Um, so reading math, let's do writing next. We are going to stay the course with handwriting without tears. Again, I got the teacher's guide because I never taught writing to anyone. So I'm doing my part to not wing it. I don't want to teach her 
the wrong stuff for the wrong form because my personal handwriting is a bit of print and cursive mix and I don't think that's the right way to do it. So I've got the teacher's guide, letters and numbers for me. Um, I think this is like labeled as kindergarten on their website, but I mean, it goes through. This is how you write each letter. We already have the slate boards and all the extras from our preschool curriculum. So I got the teacher's guide. I got this blank writing journal because we've been using a printable from Applesauce and Arrows and I really like it and she's doing good with it. So I think once we move into this curriculum because they do only have the two lines, like they don't have that third dotted line like most pages do. So I'm interested to see how that works. So I got her the journal, just a blank journal to write in. Um, and then I got a book for her and a book for me because I thought that we could do it together and that might make it a little more fun and a little special, you know, you wanna do our handwriting now? together and we can just work through it together. These books are not super expensive so I didn't really have any pause about doing that um, and then we can just I think that would motivate her to like do it well and get it done together. So we're gonna do that. So handwriting without tears, kindergarten, a book for her, a book for me, um, the teacher's manual and the journal which I mean we'll probably use the journal here and there. Uh, not every day, I mean, it's not even that big. I don't know how many pages it is. Well, they're not numbered, but I don't know how many pages it is, but we won't use that daily for her. Um, probably filling in. And then this little one for summer break, just to keep her in practice. Um, we'll probably actually end up doing some math start during summer break, so. If you're interested in our summer break plan, again, let me know. Whatever you guys wanna know, let me know. Okay, so we did reading, writing, math, and now we are gonna do Bible. Let's do that next. For Bible, we were gonna do more than words. Um, I love this. Like just looking through it online, I think you can download a sample of it. I probably did that a few times. Um, but after I got it in my hands and really looked through it and looked at the back where it says um, recommended for grades one through three, I must have missed that part. And I was probably blinded by this beautiful checklist. Um, who doesn't love to check? I mean, some people don't like checking boxes, but I did. And it was, it's a full 36 weeks, four days a week, which I loved. Um, but it's a lot of writing. So every day, or not every, well, pretty much every day, you have some sort, whether it's just a tiny bit of copy work or a pretty good bit of copy work. You have that, something every day, but it's so pretty. It has art, it has like lessons, it's got built-in character traits, which I love. Um, and it's just so good. It's got coloring and drawing. So I'm still super excited about this. I'm just gonna put it up for first grade because I don't wanna overwhelm her with too much handwriting in kindergarten. Um, and I mean, truth be told, a lot of our handwriting will probably do oral narration if it's not like actual handwriting stuff. Um, I just don't want to give her too much and I, I want her to enjoy it. I don't want to make it a chore. So that will be put off until next year. So for this year, we're gonna do the morning time plans. I think that's what we call it. Um, so it's morning time, 36 weeks of family discipleship and foundational learning from Brighter Day Press. Guys, this has had my heart singing. I've been so excited about it. I'm impatient, so I got 
the PDF, which will work well for my personality because I can write in here. If I bought the actual book, I wouldn't want to write on it because I'm weird like that. And when I circle back to use it again, because we will circle back through this, maybe skip a couple years and come back. But um, if I've written in it, no big deal. I can just print off a new one. So, but it is so good. I've loved everything I've seen through here so far. Um, so it comes with an introduction um, and how to use it and kind of what to do. It comes with a book list, which you can get a free download of the entire book list for the whole year um, on her website, the Brighter Day Press. And it's broken down by, there's a fly. It's broken down by terms, which I love because I already know, okay, term one, I need these books and I don't have to go ahead and try to find all the extra books until we're getting closer. Um, she includes a Spotify playlist for the composer part, which is great because I don't have to go in and look for the songs that she's talking about. And then it's broken down into three terms, so three 12-week terms. Um, you can also get the first week from her website um, to like look at it. And, but so it, I'll show you the first week here, but so you've got the Bible passage that you'll be reading. And then my plan is to go in with my highlighter and just highlight the actual memory work portion. So we're not memorizing this whole thing, thankfully. Um, we are just going to do verses one and two. So I think I'm just gonna highlight it directly in the printout. Um, and then she's got it broken down so nice. Um, so the books that we'll need are on the way um, because like I said, I changed my mind this weekend and got this. So I went ahead and ordered the two books that we're gonna read from every day and then Friday is just a Bible reading. It's got a prayer, our memory work, our hymn, which is included, um, the New City Catechism. I'll be back to talk about that. Art, and then our read aloud options, which I'm gonna modify these because me being me, I already picked all of our read alouds for the year. So we won't be following this read aloud um, plan. But like I said, we're gonna circle back in a few years, and so maybe then I will. So it comes with that. Here's your hymn. And I think I'm gonna actually bring back the morning menu style and put these in the menu. That way they're just all right there. Oh, I have it right here. So sorry for the up close, but I made this at the beginning of school and we liked it because it was handy and it was all of our things right in one spot. And then on day 51, apparently we quit using it so whatever um i think i am going to put these things for the week in our menu though so we've got this poem that we'll be reading and some weeks have like art prints really pretty art prints let's see if i can find one yeah so put that in our menu just whatever we're going to do for that week other than like my lesson plan part i think i'm going to stick it in the front of our menu so that's 36 weeks, gets us all the way through the year. It has all the books that we need um, for the composer study and the artist and all of those things, um, the Bible books. And back to the catechism, I, before I found this, wanted to do the New City Catechism as a family study um, that we were gonna start, you know, like now. But after I got this, I decided, I'm pointing, you don't even know what it is. After I got this, and it lines up with the New City Catechism, um, we're gonna actually pause on the family study until we start kindergarten. That way we're all in it together and we're on track. So for like, what is it, New City Catechism, question one, and then we're gonna just work on question one. So we may very well do our, because that would be on Tuesday, we may do our family study on Wednesday just to keep it fresh in her mind, like go over it. I don't know, I'm gonna work on that. But since it lines up, 
the loudest, loudest Velcro. Um, that curriculum pack came with four of these little kids books. So she'll have hers. Me and dad will have ours. Um, and I think we're just gonna go through it together. I, I would love to learn all this together, but I wanna stay on track with her school. I don't want us to start now with week one and then week one of school come back to it, if that makes sense. So I think, not that you asked, uh, we're gonna switch our family study to do The Seamless by Angie Smith again. I did it a couple years ago, loved it. So I think now for our family study, we're going to bring that back out. If you haven't looked it up and you want to, do it. I learned so much. Grew up in church, but that seamless study taught me so much. So much. So look that up if you're interested. For you, for your family. It's a women's study. Um, they have one for teen girls also, but for, I'm going to just kind of modify it for our family to learn. What's next? I was reading, writing, math, Bible. That is our day. If we do nothing else, we will do those things. And if by that point we're just shot, we won't do those bottom bins over there. One science, one's um, history. We won't even touch those and I won't even care. So reading, writing, math, Bible. Actually, it'll probably be more like Bible first. Morning time, we'll call it. Morning basket whatever, um, and then work into our other subjects and then see how we feel about getting into these. But I will do separate videos for these because there's a lot in those bins and a lot up here of how I'm gonna work it. So just for some extra things, um, oh, we're gonna have this in our morning basket too, but this will also, like some of these tabs are science, some of them are history. So this is gonna stay in our morning basket and we'll read through because it's got some great stuff. It's got some stories, some poems, some just like old fables, uh, like Little Red Riding Hood. So just, we're gonna read through the literature portion. Um, and then if I've tabbed things in the history and the science section that I know we wanna touch on and We'll see how far we get through it. I don't think we'll do any math out of here. I mean, or the music. So we will see what we get. But my goal is just leave this in the morning basket. Read a story. It's got a lot of Aesop's fables, poems, like just little mother goose. So that, I didn't want to forget that. That will be in our morning basket. Um, and then... I might bring these out on our break weeks. They were left over from our sunlight pre-K curriculum and they're just, so on our break weeks, I might bring these out just for like some extra practice. I'm not exactly, okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I also was thinking about this. I think I got this at, uh, probably on christianbook.com a long time ago. But it also, I have a printable from Applesauce so Neros again. And I thought about doing this through summer break. It's just a coloring book that goes through all the fruits of the spirit. So I thought about kind of pairing those and learning those during summer break. I don't know. We'll see. And I'll keep you posted over on Instagram. But I just like, I want to keep some things fresh and going during summer break. So do that writing. We'll definitely do some reading. And a little, I don't know. I'll work on that and let you guys know. Um, what is this that I have? No stickers. We don't need that. Okay. Um, read alouds. Here we go. So like I said, there is a read aloud um, section in the morning time plans that has like the classics um, that you could easily follow along with. And... That's one reason we're going to circle back to it in a few years because it has the missionary, um, the heroes, the then and now, then and now by the YBAM publishing book series in here. But my girl's a tender hearted one. And just from the very first chapter of one that I read online, 
I was like, oh, we're gonna wait on that because I think people being imprisoned and like things she's gonna need to know later. But now at five, I don't wanna, I don't wanna freak her out yet. So that's why I said we will definitely circle back. But so read alouds. Squanto. Um, this is actually gonna. I'm gonna try to make this one line up with our one of our history things, um, but it's still a read aloud. So I need to try to work this in with history. Um, and we're not doing these in any certain order. I don't think. The world according to Humphrey was a sunlight recommendation. A lot of these I did. I pulled the sunlight. Um, book list for kindergarten and then from there decided what books I wanted to use in our own curriculum. I ordered some from Sunlight, a lot from thrift books because I like getting recycled books or you know, used. I don't like always buying new books. Um, a Cabin Face West, which I'm also going to try to tie in with our history, make it fit in. Um, Little House in the Big Woods. We're gonna work on that and go through it. And this one actually is the colored edition, which I like. Um, let me know if you've read The Farmer Boy because I recently saw a conversation where The Farmer Boy is a little deep and has some hard topics. So let me know down below or over on Instagram, shoot me a message if you would continue this because I have Farmer Boy because uh, I thought, but then if it's, it's a little too heavy, we might skip that one for a few years too. So let me know, please. Um, the Courage of Sarah Noble. It's a short one. That one will be quick. Um, My Father's Dragon was a sunlight recommendation we're going to do. <clears throat> all, all of a kind family. This one looks cute. So we're going to do, I think this one was a sunlight recommendation also. Anna Hibiscus. I know this one was on the sunlight list. And, and then 26 Fairmont Avenue. This was also on the sunlight list. And now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I think this might be some of mom's reading. Just so I can go ahead and read them and know what to expect. And then our last couple things, um, I've had this. I got it at our used bookstore several years ago. I'm just going to put this in our morning basket um, and just go through some of these questions. She loves these kind of question and answer things. So I'm just going to pop this one in our morning basket and just go through a couple of these. Well, okay then. Now it's never going to close. Um, and then if you saw the Dollar Tree haul, you already know I got these. It's kind of like warm-up activities. So stuff like this we'll have just in our morning basket and we can just kind of get started instead of jumping right in. Um, or even this might be a good breakfast activity. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to work it all because my goal is to start the day with this. And then if we take a break, maybe do some chores, get teeth brushed, dressed, all that stuff, and then kind of jump into the actual like brain power part of the day um, and then our girl likes to draw so I actually have this that I got from Red and Happy um, and I thought this would be super neat to just do um, like it's gonna teach her how to draw so kind of like an art curriculum but super informal um, and even if we just worked on one a week like if we just drew this frog a couple times a week Get her some tracing paper and get that and I mean it would double as a handwriting activity so it has an animal for every letter which I thought this was super cute and I think I got this when it was on sale so I went ahead and got it and printed it out I printed it on cardstock so it's gonna last a bit longer um, and I may even slip this down in some of those plastic sleeves for the first day and just have her trace it out uh, but I thought that would be good since she likes to draw and she's always doing artsy things. I thought, why not? Why do I keep opening to this frog? Um, why not focus in on that skill and grow it? But I just thought it was really cute. Um, just simple little things to draw. I mean, 
well, I say simple, but it's step by step. So that is going to be our kindergarten. I'm excited. Her dad was asking her, hey, you know you're about to start kindergarten, right? She was like, yeah. He's like, do you know your teacher's going to be? She said, uh, mommy. I was like, you're right. So we're excited. Um, we've got a couple more weeks, like six weeks left of preschool. Then I think we're going to end up actually having a two-month summer break. Um, and then from there, we plan to start school the Monday after 4th of July and do year-round. Um, so this is our core. This is our morning basket and our core like academics. And like I said, if we have days where we get nothing but this done, fine. I'm happy with it. Um, so the science and the history are going to come up in a separate video because there's a lot and I just didn't want to cram it all in. So guys, sorry if this video is a little jumpy when I get it edited because my little guy wanted to be involved real bad. He kept coming in. So I apologize for that if it's a little sketchy. Um, and I can't wait to get through these because I'm excited about it. It's not required in our state to do that yet, but I figured why not do it for fun. Maybe she'll get interested in it. And by the time it is required, she will enjoy it is my hope. So guys, hope you have a great day and I will see you guys later to talk about history or science. Bye.